Time to play with some clay. Hi, this morning, or this afternoon, I should say, <laughs> I've uh, warmed up my clay, and let me show you how I do that. I do it under a swing arm lamp with a 100-watt bulb, and the JMAC clay comes in a block like this. It's a five-pound block of clay, and I uh, soften it up overnight under a swing arm lamp, and that's about six inches maybe eight inches above the uh, clay so i don't melt the clay i got this dry drywall uh spatula and it works really good for cutting clay especially when it's softened up a little bit and what i do is i cut it up in pieces that are manageable I don't cut it too thick, and I don't cut, cut it too thin. Of course, you can cut it any thickness you want, but I like to cut it a little bit, maybe a half inch, uh, just so that I've got a clay that will soften quickly. It won't take overnight. Now I get my clay, my J-Mac, and it's medium grade. I get it from sculpturedepot.net uh, online. They're located in Loveland, Colorado. And uh, they've got all kinds of clay that they can sell you there they can sell you the uh true form armatures as well and uh for both human and horse and for those of you who are just starting out sculpting those armatures can be real handy but i'd make my own armatures for a while just to get used to it and i have a couple of uh DVDs that are in a set on how to make armatures for both humans and for animals, uh, horses in particular, and dogs. And what I show you there can be applied to any animal, and uh, makes it really useful. All right, got my clay all softened up and ready to go. And I've got all my reference material here for me to look at. No matter how long you've sculpted something, human, dog, horse, cow, cat, zebra, you still need your reference material. And this is my reference material here. It's from a book. Uh, I can't remember the name of the book because I cut the pages out of the book. Quite honestly, it's a pain in the butt opening a book and trying to keep the pages open so you can see the pictures. I, I took them out and then I scanned them into my computer. And uh, it works out better that way. Anyway... No matter how long you've been sculpting a particular type of subject, you still need reference. And uh, I, ain't to, you know, I've been sculpting horses for well since eighty five, ninety five, two thousand five, fifteen, forty five years, and. Uh, I still use my reference.
you never stop learning. <sighs> okay, I'm liking uh, this solid thunder clay, this monster clay that I used. I like it a lot. Because it's giving me a good uh, base or foundation for my sculpture. And if I think it's too deep, I just cut away a little bit. There we go. The nice thing about uh, this clay, this JMAC clay, it, it goes on smoother, I think, in the long run than the uh, monster clay. Because the monster clay, when it starts hardening up on you, and it does, as soon as you take it from underneath the uh, warming light, it starts softening up, uh, hardening up immediately. And the monster clay takes uh, no time at all to start getting so hard you can't. Well, at least that's my opinion. Now, there's there's people out there who work with it all the time who probably don't agree with my assessment of that clay, but I do like my plastiline much better. Also, it's my plastiline's a lot cheaper. I've got the horse started. I've got to go up and uh, find some uh, reference materials on the uh, uh, structure of the uh, rear legs of the horse. Um, I only have of the full body and you know, with all the muscles. I need to find those pictures that I've stored uh, with more detail on on the muscle structure of the uh, the horse. It's it's nice having the the uh, mannequin here, but it doesn't answer all your questions. And uh, so that's what I've got to do. And I'm going to come back and and look at this uh, tomorrow and get back on it and uh, see how far I can get. Uh, this is the first horse and it's the ba last horse in the uh, group of three. It's in the back part of the uh, design or the composition. And uh, I got to make sure everything's right on it. All right. Uh, Till next time. Good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.